Mr. Dennis Tan. Question three. Mr. Speaker, MINDEV and the SAF take a zero tolerance approach towards any form of abuse of soldiers or personnel, either by their commanders or peers. While military training aims to build up the physical and psychological resilience of soldiers and instill discipline, the safety of soldiers need not be compromised. Acts of humiliation are specifically prohibited. Over the years, the SAF has put in place a comprehensive safety management system where all training activities conducted are required to be authorized. Each activity is clearly outlined with safety measures and limits. With an approved safety management plan with a supervising officer, a conducting officer and a safety officer present throughout. Additional physical training as a form of informal punishment can only be meted out in accordance with stipulated guidelines and based on commander's seniority as prescribed in the SAF Joint Manpower Directive 4-4 on the informal punishment system. For all activities, the safety of individual soldiers is paramount and commanders must take corrective measures to mitigate risk to their soldiers where necessary. Similarly, unit orientation activities can only be conducted if authorized and not in danger the well-being of any servicemen. These requirements that I've just spelt out are consistent with the core values of the SAF and are known to commanders. SAF personnel who conduct unauthorized activities, engage in bullying, or have willfully or negligently not complied with training safety regulations have been and will continue to be severely dealt with and prosecuted either by summary trials or general court-martial within the SAF or criminal prosecution in the state courts. In 2016, four full-time national servicemen were prosecuted in the military court for bullying a fellow NSF. All were sentenced to between two and four weeks in the SAF detention barracks. In 2005, the supervising officer, the conducting officer and instructors from the commander unit who were involved in the death of a trainee after being submerged in water during a combat survival training course were sentenced to 6 to 12 months imprisonment by the state courts. In 2012, an SAF vehicle overturned during an exercise which caused the death of a soldier. The conducting officer who appointed a serviceman to drive the military vehicle, even when he knew that the serviceman did not have a driving license, was convicted in the criminal courts and sentenced to six months imprisonment. The officer was found to have committed a rash act and attempted to pervert the course of justice. SAF soldiers are encouraged to report any unauthorized activity or punishment. New recruits are specifically briefed on how they can do so. They can either report it through their unit superiors or contact the MINDEF feedback unit. The number is one 800 Three six seven six seven six seven. It's an easy number to remember. One eight hundred three six seven six seven six seven. And safety SAF safety hotlines. There are hotlines for the Army, Navy, and Air Force. I've listed them in my reply to be distributed to the press as well as recorded in Hansard, so that people will know these numbers and they know that they can report any unauthorized activity or punishment. Every complaint is investigated fully and those caught doing wrong will be prosecuted.